Well, I got my old mattress and box frame in the living room laying up against this wall. My next step will be, well, keeper will have to be disturbed so that I can uh, take this box spring and this mattress into the bedroom. This is the frame. So what I'll have is I'll actually have a, I'll actually have a, a headboard. I mean, it ain't a board, but I'll have a something that'll go up against the wall without my pillow being up against the wall. I can uh, probably sleep better, I think. And I've also got flats, which I didn't have on the other frame and the other bed. And then to show you, I still got a, uh, I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know. Just sharing with you guys. Yeah, there's a mess under that was underneath my bed. So I'm going to pick that old sock up that a ladybird likes to play with and sweep all this trash up. I'm going to throw some cleaner down and do a mopping session. After I take this frame apart and move it in there. Then that's what I'll be doing is trying to move first putting up the frame from that uh, bed that Roger brought me the other day. I'm hoping the mattress is a little bit better than the one I've been on, although they almost look identical. But the cool thing is that uh, right here, well, I can't show it to you. Because it's almost faded. But it says ultra firm. So it was. I think it that that newer mattress. Might be better for me. The one I was on. Was given to me by a, a neighbor. That was going to throw the stuff away. And the mattress was. Uh, actually never really used. But it was bought for a child. Even though it's a full size bed. But I don't think it was intended. For someone of my size. Because it. It worked better than what I had, but it didn't take long for me to smash it in. And no matter how many times I flip it, each side has an indention because I'm so heavy for that mattress, that particular mattress. So I'm hoping that when I get this other bed up, that I might be able to sleep a little better. Hopefully, I don't know. Y'all wish me luck on that. If it don't work out, I'll just set the old one up because at least I'm used to it. Oh, and uh, I'm about done with my dishes and stuff. Got to dump the old water out. And I haven't ate yet today, but I've got me two pork chops cooked and a piece of an onion. I'm about to... I'll probably eat that before I try to attempt setting everything up and moving that other mattress and box spring in. I don't know. That's about it. I'm just jamming out to music. I'm enjoying the day. Um, trying to gear up for some things. Matter of fact, where this box spring and this old mattress are is where my um, the other love seat used to be. I see I had a love seat just like this one right here, and I moved that out this morning after I walked my dog. Moved it out, yes, one handed. I had to lift it up, get it on its side with one hand, and uh, kind of maneuver it out the door the best I could. I flipped it off the porch. And then I just rolled it over towards the back where I, I kind of like to sit. Sometimes I don't use the space out there as often as I should, but I'm going to set it up so when the uh, weather starts getting cooler and stuff in the nice cool mornings, I'm going to go out there and make videos and uh, drink coffee or my tea or whatever. But I'm just, uh, you know, I don't have much of a life other than just being at my trailer every day and doing my studies and making my videos and sometimes playing with my action figures, which I haven't really done in a while. And that's coming soon. That's going to be some, hopefully I'm going to have some good content coming your way with action figures and maybe reviewing comic books and stuff like that. But I am going to continue always doing my spiritual content and my motivational content. I don't know, man. If you haven't already liked this video, hit the like button, please. Remember that. And if you're not subscribing, you're watching my videos, think about subscribing. It really helps me out. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Even though the world is going to hell and all that in the hand, hand basket, I, I still got a few goals, you know. And the more the channel grows, the more I can share, hopefully, a positive message and share things that the spirit lays on my heart with other people you know 
let's try to get it out there and i really don't know about the whole x platform thing being my next move as far as doing more content because this whole issue with elon trying to say he's going to stop the blocking mechanism on there and that kind of upsets me because i don't block a lot of people but if you are rude and like vicious and trying to attack somebody you know you should have the ability to block them out of your like i'd rather just block an account that's giving me a bunch of problems than trying to report the account because from what i understand if you're having issues with another account like harassing you it takes a whole long process to try to get it all resolved through the right channels to me it would just be easier to block them just block them but you know I don't know. I don't like I said, I really don't block a lot of people. The accounts that I will block on any social media platform is if you follow me and I follow you back and you immediately direct message me right after I followed you and start asking me certain questions, especially very vague questions, uh, you know, such as are you single? Are you married? Uh, questions like what do you do for a living where do you live simple small talk questions then i'm probably not gonna keep following you very long and i will only engage in that conversation for a short period of time trying to figure out if i'm talking to a real person or a bot or maybe a real person that's pretending to be somebody they're not because they're trying to get me involved in something that they can scam me out of some money. Well, let me tell you, I don't have a lot of money. I'm on a disability check. Hopefully, I can get off of this stuff. Uh, maybe I can generate a income stream where I can know uh, not, where I no longer have to depend on some stupid check of once a month. Uh, that's just the way it is. That's what the goal is. That's what the spirit tells me. The goal is is to try to get to a place where I can generate income through what it is the Spirit wants me to do. And that's simply spread a positive message, tell people, you know, that they are loved and that they are, there is hope. So I hope that this is a good enough video for you. Until next time, this old fart here, Mr. Cloud, Sage of the Earth. Sage of the Eternal Moment, which is this moment I'm in making a video right now. Over and out. Ditto.